Hi folks, District Governor John coming to you today with another Governor's Vlog. Today we're talking about Youth Exchange and we have a very special group of people with us uh, that are going to talk about their experience, their passion, uh, and why Youth Exchange and how Youth Exchange has really changed their life. So I'm going to toss it right over without any further ado to the queen of Youth Exchange, the woman who has been running it for, I can't even count how many years, Linda, up until this year. Uh, Linda Spots out of the Susquehanna Township Club uh, has been uh, leading the way for Youth Exchange for District 7390 for a very long time. So Linda, introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about you, and then uh, go ahead and, and introduce our next guest after you're done. I'm Linda Spots, I'm president of the Susquehanna Rotary Club and um, Hannah actually was our very first outbound exchange student to, along with her parents being uh, a host family for several exchange students. And my background, I have a, a, back, a master's degree in human resources administration and industrial relations and undergraduate degrees in psychology and mathematics and i got involved very early actually i think i was groomed to be for youth exchange um, my very first year when i started uh, they took me to new york city to a district conference they introduced me to all of the youth exchange students and it seemed like they were always introducing me to the youth exchange students and and i believe it was because of my past experience uh, where i met the dis a district governor who brought me into rotary and uh, we were both members of a uh, summer student program uh, at a Fortune 500 company, and I was doing all of the uh, recruiting for the summer students, co-op, and you know, full-time college students all around the country. And uh, so that's where my passion began. It didn't take much to get me, you know, very excited and very involved. And I was really, you know, being at the district chair for 20 years. Then I, when it was our club, it was our club that said, Linda, we would like to have exchange program. I said, wow, yes, great. And our first student was from France. Uh, it went really well. Uh, he, he actually won uh, an Apollo award <laughs> as a stage manager for one of the plays uh, at the high school. And, and then when, uh, and we're a very small club, so we're not hosting every year, um, but, um, but when uh, Hannah came along as our first outbound, uh, actually it started out as a short-term exchange. And, uh, and then uh, Dr. Willis became a member of our club about uh, four years ago. And um, when she became a member, um, I had, gotten her resume and uh, shared it with you. Uh, I, it was a leadership team uh, recommending her to be the student protection officer for the district. And, and, uh, and so she's been an inspiration to me for continuing with Youth Exchange along with the Kurtz family and Hannah, of course. Thank you. Well, thank you uh, very much, Linda, and for your service and all that you have built uh, and that we're now building upon. Absolutely. That foundation for us. So, uh, Dr. Willis, tell us, uh, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for being the, the district safety officer for us for this and, and for your engagement. Tell us a little bit about yourself and about your passion, if you wouldn't mind. Absolutely. So, um, I am the superintendent of the Susquehanna Township School District. I am in my fourth year as superintendent. I was assistant superintendent for two years prior. And um, as Linda mentioned, I was a member of the Rotary Club early on, even before I became a superintendent. But in the role of superintendent, I happily accepted um, the role as a youth protection officer. As you know, just by the nature of the job that I do every day, I am very passionate about young people. Um, our goal is to really prepare them uh, to work and, and, and be a part of a global uh, citizenry. And so just the idea that a club of our size um, participates in youth exchange, is it, it just breathes new life into everything 
that we do. And I do believe that the young people are the, the heart of our Rotary Club. Um, I can tell you one of the things as a district uh, we pride ourselves on is being able to be a part of a program that will allow our students to gain a new appreciation for other cultures and, and also just broaden their own perspectives uh, about the world around us and um, other people just by becoming a member of those communities. Um, as a school district, one of our core values states that our diversity is our strength. And we truly believe that. And the Rotary Youth Exchange is one way in which we can uh, live up to uh, that core value. Um, I truly believe that um, a, when a student travels abroad in the youth exchange, that they are creating lifelong and life changing memories. And so we hope that when our students like Hannah, um, the Kurtz family, they are amazing. I'm so glad that they're joining us today. But when we create those opportunities and we have a student who is willing to go out and, and take advantage of this youth experience, we really hope that they will bring back a new awareness and a new insight uh, to the district. And again, continue to help us live up to uh, that value about the diversity, welcoming all cultures, faiths, religions, creeds. It makes us who we are. Um, and Hannah, I don't know if you've heard, uh, very recently, the Susquehanna Township School District was recognized by niche.com as the 15th most diverse district in the United States. Wow. and the most wow. diverse district in Pennsylvania. So we wear that distinction with a, with a, I mean, with, with a badge of honor and youth exchange is just really kind of the life's blood of that. So I can talk about this all day, but I won't because I know we have, you know, some time constraints, but thank you for having me. Um, I would come back again and again, if you ever want to talk about this program because it is life changing. Thank you so much. And yes, your your involvement is going to help take us to the next level. Yes. I'm so excited. I, you know, I didn't know about Rotary when I was a kid, but my family blessed me with the opportunity to go to Toluca, Mexico and, and study uh, Spanish through an, uh, a college that was offering it. And we went and I stayed with a family down there for a month and a half and nothing like your experiences, but holy cow, was it life changing. Just that month and a half was amazing. So. I'm a big advocate for it. And I know the district would love to grow the program even beyond where it is. And so that's one of the reasons we're doing what we're doing today. So Kurt's family, who's gonna be talking there? What, who would like to start us off with your conversation? Um, I can start. Um, we were always very involved with Rotary, I feel like, which kind of led me into doing the program to begin with because we were so involved with the club through like other little things. Um, we knew the people in there from various other outside activities and um, at some point like my teachers pushed me to do the speech contest with them and that was like my first time actually meeting them as a club and then after that a lot of my friends started joining their little sect of the high school so I kind of knew all of the, the friends in the interact club and they would tell me about it and they're like you should join it's a lot of fun and so I slowly just got immersed in little by little. And I was like, well, a short term, I think I can do that. You know, it's not too long. It's not too far away from home. It's just about right. And once I went, I just couldn't wait to go back out into the world again. So I applied that fall to go to long term, which was great. So can you do me a favor real quick before you go on and introduce the people that are sitting next to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, this my dad and my mom, who have both raised me here in, in Harrisburg, you know. Apparently they did a very good job. Well done. Yeah. So tell us about your long-term experience. My long-term experience was, um, that was fantastic. I was in Belgium for that time. I was in the one of three districts in Belgium, who I also went with two other kids from my district here, um, Abby Boland and Elizabeth Heidecker. So they were in the other two districts of Belgium. So it was very close knit community of exchange students, not only 
with the rotary themselves, which the rotary is very hands-on. We saw them at least once a month and you had to, and it was, it was a requirement. Um, and they had activities for us to do as well, volunteer things to do in Belgium. And they set me up with my host families who all knew each other. So I kind of transitioned very easily into the other host families because they were all already friends and I would see them all constantly. And we were all very close and we had dinners together. And I saw exchange friends probably every week <laughs> and I had a couple other exchange students from not only the US, but also Brazil and Mexico in my school district that I saw every day. It's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about, um, you had to come back a little bit early, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> um, with the pandemic, it was very difficult. My district was one of the first districts, I think, the, the Belgian district to send kids home. They were very, they were like, we're not, we're not going to do this. We don't want exchange students here for this time. So um, some exchange students found little ways around it. Um, all the Argentinians made a group chat with their government officials to make sure that they didn't have to leave. So they did stay throughout their exchange and others found um, houses outside of Rotary and some ended up staying throughout the summer and even into college there. But I, my host family wasn't prepared to host me through the exchange, neither was the club that was there. So without support from Belgium to hold me there, I had to come home. Yeah, because we're always uh, safety first. I mean, the experience is really important and, and all the planning that goes into it, people are disappointed when we have to do things that we have to do, but it has to be about safety first. And so, uh, sorry that you had to come back. Love your hair, by the way. So, <laughs> so, so tell us, can you give us like an idea of what your thoughts are on, uh, you know, what did you learn? What are the maybe top three things, you know, tell us a little bit about how it may have changed uh, your perspective? Um, it made the world seem a little bit smaller, if that makes sense. You know, it's not, Indonesia isn't as far as you think it is. It was the same distance for me to get to Belgium as it was for my friends from Indonesia to get there. So it was kind of like, oh, well, the world is a lot bigger and also somehow smaller than you thought it was. And it kind of being out of the country once really sparks that interest to go again. You know, it's like once, once you've been out once, you want to go see everywhere there is to see. Um, like you can't just stop at one, one place. You want to see more. So, and it really gave a sense of community because I can also, I know I've had invitations many times though. If I ever, if I'm ever in Arizona, you have, I have a place to stay. If I'm ever in Ontario, I have a place to stay. If I'm ever in New Zealand, I have a place to stay. So, it's kind of nice to know that like little connections will be like a lifetime. Like even I've heard stories from older exchange students that have in Belgium and here that have met up with their exchange, especially Belgium since Belgium is so close knit with the exchange students that they have had like in a decade, they have like a meetup. It's like a 10 years since our exchange and they'll go meet up at the same places that they used to hang out at that haven't changed all that much, you know, because yeah. hear that from all I hear that from all the exchange students, so many of them, they talk about the relationships they now have around the globe and the friends that they have all over Earth. It's just uh, that that's an amazing gift, uh, that, uh, kind of a side benefit that this offers. So mom and dad, what are your thoughts? So uh, was there anything that you'd like to share with if you were talking one on one to another set of parents um, about who are thinking about their child leaving the country to go on one of these exchanges, what would you say to them? Um, uh, I'd say it's a fantastic opportunity. Um, you know, we were fortunate to have had experience with the Rotary because we did some of the, um, hosted some exchange students. Um, so we had some level of familiarity as to what she was gonna encounter on the other side. Um, but we really didn't have any reservations or hesitations about it. Um, you know, Hannah's a very, independent and independent minded um, uh, person and uh, which is what we you know want for our, our kids and we felt pretty confident that she was going to go out there and and um, you know in, embrace the entire exchange uh, it was her idea to do it and we were very supportive of it and um, you know I, I we we've, I, I, I would also say to families that um, rotary does it incredibly well they've been doing it a very very long time um, so you know, while we were going through all of the, um, you know, prior sessions that led up to Hannah's going on the exchange, um, there was a lot of talk about, 
you know, the safety and how they do it. But, you know, we didn't really have that as a reservation because we knew that they would do it quite well. Um, and, you know, case in point, obviously nobody thought that there would be a pandemic. The Rotary <laughs> itself had never had to deal with a pandemic before. Um, and in the chaotic days that led up to that, uh, we had booked a flight, canceled a flight, booked a flight, canceled a flight, and then finally booked a flight for her to come home because mm -hmm. there was a lot of discussion with Linda, <laughs> with uh, Linda's counterparts. Um, and, you know, at one point we weren't quite certain what, what was the right outcome, but, you know, Rotary led us through that and, you know, Hannah ultimately did make it home. Mm -hmm. We're obviously disappointed that it ended up being a couple of months short because she was having the time of her life and, um, you know, but she did come home fluent in French, which was uh, also a, a very positive thing for her. Wonderful, thank you so much. And, uh, and and I appreciate your giving us that positive review without me actually saying, so how did Rotary do for you? They did, they did great, we love them, yeah. yeah. That's good. So Hannah, what would you say if there were students uh, that are thinking about doing this, how would you, what would you tell them uh, about if they were coming to you for advice having gone, what would you say? I would say it's not as hard as you think it will be in that you will find your support system through this, you know, like you'll really see like who's there for you and who's pushing for you to succeed and like who really wants you to go after everything that you can get, so. That's wonderful, wonderful. All right, so is there anything else that I haven't asked that you'd like to share before we uh, sign off? Um, if you could share, uh, Hannah, a little bit about the uh, short-term exchange program. We have both programs. In the short term, any club can go and do that because it's a family-to-family -family exchange. And I think um, when Hannah's on her outbound you know i don't see her i'm not i don't know what's happening every day like her parents although her parents you know probably knew more than i do i know the dad talked to me a couple of weeks before the pandemic hit and i was so pleased to hear the the great news while everything was going and then the pandemic hit but it, with her short-term exchange what brought a club our club members uh the host family what I thought together was when um, she brought, and I'm not gonna pronounce this right, but her uh, host sister, Jean. Yes, Jean, yes. Uh, very good. Hey, I, I brought her back and, um, and our club had at the macaroni and cheese, we had rented one of the rooms and we had her um, Hannah's parents mm -hmm. and Hannah and Jean come in and our, um, host our club members, uh, some had brought their uh, spouse with them and they could, and we exchanged banners and I tried to get that banner on the back, uh, the picture of Hannah and, and Jen, but I, this particular computer doesn't allow that. Uh, but when I saw her and Jen come into the macaroni grill, they were skipping like little girls like they were in seventh or eighth grade, maybe sixth grade, I don't know, but they had the happiest faces, big smiles and the holding hands. And I knew, I knew she had a wonderful time. And then to hear later on how her parents actually have visited the host family and, uh, and what bonds they've made. So they can make bonds both with the short-term program as well as the long-term. So I don't wanna cut the short-term too short because it is a very important one and it can build up host families for clubs who may not have host families. Yeah, so I, wanna, I wanna thank uh, the Kurtz family, Hannah, for all that, that you've done. Uh, the three things I always think of, uh, of all students and why I like the program so much is I know that they're going to get a greater cultural understanding because they're living the culture, whether it be the short term or the long term. Uh, they're going to have the critical thinking with the long term program because of the exchange with two to three host families. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is probably 17 times greater than a student that never goes on exchange. And, and of course, the language she knows um, not only French from high school, but uh, some from France, and now she's got the Belgium French, right? So she's got three levels of uh, French behind her. So she's really, she's 
she, like other students, has, has grown um, mentally probably anywhere from two to four years beyond somebody that never went on exchange. So that's what I really like about the program is I like to see smart students, uh, unique students like Hannah, you know, going on exchange. That, that's wonderful. Hannah, would you uh, a couple of thoughts about the, uh, the short term? Yeah, I found it really interesting. Um, so many people didn't even know that it existed or was still running. A lot of people thought it yeah. used to be a thing and was no longer a thing, which was really interesting because I guess you don't hear as much from students that have gone on short term as the students that have gone on long term since it's not as long of a of an exchange to talk about and you know you don't have you don't really get into the whole rotex which is where most of the discussion about exchange happens and that's usually mainly just long-term exchange students uh -huh. but the short-term exchange program is is a really great program like honestly anybody who has any hesitations about going on exchange it's a good start because it's such a small step into it like it's you know you're not diving head first into yeah. exchange the same way you do with long term yep. how long was it for you H hannah is one of four students in my 20 years that has gone on both the short term and the long term so um she's in the top two percent all right hannah she, she spent and it's just with hannah township yes she spent three weeks three, there three weeks there and, and we, we hosted John John back for, for three, three weeks. weeks so it was it was a perfect amount of time and as, as linda mentioned um you know when when we took a trip uh to france hannah really wanted to spend a little time in, uh you know in brest with the host family mm -hmm. and they insisted that we stay in their house which we <laughs> oh, did wow. and it was the most amazing experience we had as a yeah. family um you know the kids were able to communicate with without really sp speaking either language <laughs> except for hannah and um you know it was just a wonderful uh, period of time and we really appreciated the opportunity to do that ourselves i love that part of it. it's not just about the, the i say kids the young adults it's really about the family because the family is engaged in so many ways yeah they, she had two younger sisters while she yeah. was there and i think her younger sister cammy the middle child was definitely probably thinking about going on exchange for herself she is very fluent in english she was so excited that i was there and we would watch um, movies in english every now and then just because she was so excited about it. And she would ask me about very colloquial words that yeah. like very casual American English words right. that she wanted to know and she didn't really understand quite what that meant. I, you know, I get that. I remember uh, this was a really long time ago when I went on my trip to Toluca, but the cultural difference was a little bit odd. Like, so the family I went to, the, the, one, the girl that was my age didn't speak any English. The son was a little bit younger, but he was more fluent in English. So. I, and my Spanish was terrible. So I was communicating with him. Mom didn't speak a word of it and there was no father. And so the, and there was cultural differences too. We went into the movie theater with the son and he put his arm around me. And, and, I, and as, a, as a 15 or 16 year old person myself, I was completely uncomfortable with it in a dark movie theater with a, with a guy yeah. putting his, but this is how he was taking care of me. This was their culture. And, and, I, and that made me pause and think and, and learn a little bit from there. Did you find any cultural things while you were away mm -hmm. on either trip that kind of stuck with you like that? A little. The kind of culture of hanging out with friends, especially with like was a lot of what I got into just because Jeanne had a group of friends that she saw very often. And I found that to be very common amongst pretty much any European student actually is that they usually have groups of friends that they stick with. Like this is their group of friends that that right. they've been going up through the grade school with them all every year. Like they have all the same classes together. So they see each other in classes all the time and they just have their own little groups, which is can be hard to get into sometimes, which was nice that I had, I would meet one person and they kind of introduce you to the rest of their friends. And that's how you get, that's how you make friends. And they hang out a lot differently than we do. A lot of us here, have to be doing an activity like we go to bowling or we go to the mall but they'll just go like to a beach or they'll go out like actually out since you can go out to places there mm -hmm. they'll go out and see each other outside of school which was kind of interesting especially once i got into school for long term yeah. because 
there were little cliques of groups, but you didn't only see them because you would go to the place to hang out outside of school and everybody would be there. Yeah. Our entire school would be there and it's like the, the casual version of school. <laughs> so you see everybody, it, it's very personable there. Uh, here I feel like it's very uh, much more isolated individually. Yeah. So you don't strike me as somebody who has a hard time making friends, but I wonder, <laughs> so if I'm a student and I'm thinking about this, but I'm a little shy, I'm a little concerned about going overseas and I don't know how I'm going to, do you feel like it would have been more difficult for you had you been a little more introverted and shy going into that environment? I don't think so. I think once I got to Belgium, especially since there, like you'll meet the other exchange students that are nearby you and they'll kind of, like I did the same thing. Somebody was nervous to come out to, with us as a group. And so I went and picked her up one day and we walked together to the, to the place to hang out. And a lot of people, especially because you speak English, will usually be very interested. And so your first friends before you speak the language are going to be people who know English and who want to hear you speak English. And so they'll, that's kind of how, then they start like transitioning that friendship from speaking English to speaking the, your host language. So you kind of, it evolves as you evolve to, into the culture. Like, so they'll start kind of wanting to know about you and then you, once you know more, about them move into that, so. That makes a lot of sense. Not much of a chance to be a wallflower. They're gonna to come to you as much as anything else. Yeah. That's fantastic, I love that. Dr. Willis, is there anything else that you'd like to share uh, or uh, anything that you've heard that you'd like to ask about? Um, absolutely, I would love to share the value of having good host families and how um, the Kurtz family, they are just an amazing family as I'm sure you've been able to uh, hear just in listening to Hannah express her excitement uh, about the exchange. But the fact that they were willing to host so many of our inbound students, um, just they really become the backbone of our exchange programs, your host families. Um, so as much as possible, we like to cultivate those uh, relationships. And um, one of the things that I enjoy doing every year is interviewing our outbound students. Um, across the district. That is one of the highlights of my year, just being able to sit down and interview the families as well as the, the young people, uh, because it, it really does take a community. And when Mr. Kurtz talked about, you know, not really being afraid to send um, your student or your, your, your child, uh, there are so many layers of protection built into Rotary, not just here in America, but when your student travels outside of the country, there's so many levels. It's really comforting as a parent to know that you have all of these adults and communities across the globe who are really looking out for your child and making sure your young your young adult, making sure that they're going to be safe, but that they're also going to have a very positive experience. And so I can't say enough about host families. Um, they're just amazing. So I also want to just thank the Kurtzes. You all have been such a blessing to our district. I'd like to say also, just as far as um, hosting goes, we have had some of the best experiences having um, a student from abroad in our home as uh, as we're raising our own daughters. And I think we couldn't have done them a better um, opportunity by bringing children into the home who are from other cultures and are trying to learn from us as we are from them and um, forging those relationships with them and their families. I hope that um, this Rotary Club is able to continue that program so that other families in the area, um, as diverse as we are as a district, I think we can learn more about other cultures. And um, I think that really helps when we have community members willing to host and be a part of the program. Um, and I wanted to also say to Dr. Willis, so many thanks for your support of the students when we've had them in the district and they've had um, some hiccups or some issues that we were trying to resolve with their um, either adjusting to the school district or getting their schedules worked out or even lunches, you know, working out the lunch um, situation. I think there were times when, you know, we weren't sure how to go about making it smoother for the student, but in a moment's call to Dr. Willis, she was able to solve some of these issues um, without having it drag on for days and the student being stressed out about how is this gonna work. It was my pleasure, honestly. I love this program. Anything that we can do to keep the young people coming into our district and also having the experience abroad, 
we are going to do it because it is it is so worth it. Mm -hmm. It is. I, I love I love this particular vlog because of the passion that each one of you bring to the table. It's it's wonderful and and I get it. Uh, is there anything else anybody would like to say before we sign off? These are supposed to be 10 minute long. I think we're probably into our 40th minute or so now, but <laughs> good because this is good quality stuff. We can share this with students who are thinking about going, with parents who are thinking about being hosts, mm -hmm. with parents who are thinking about sending their child. I, I think it's just wonderful uh, that you guys took the time this morning. It's a Saturday morning. It's beautiful outside and you decided to help out with this. Thank you so very much, all of you, uh, for participating. Thanks for Our pleasure. Our pleasure. Thank you. All right, folks. Well, thank you all for uh, visiting our vlog today. You've learned a little bit about Youth Exchange. If there's anything that you would like to, to share with us, what your rotary passion is, uh, we would love to do a vlog for you. It's uh, something that we've started this year. We're going to continue on. Uh, so just reach out to me, share with me what you'd like to do, and, and we'll jump on. It's super easy, as all the people on the screen will attest, uh, or at least we try to make it that way. So. Thank you very much. Have a great day and we'll see you around the wheel. <laughs>